Hi, and welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. Today's video, I would like to share with you a haul video. This is um, everything that I have found at a new to me antique mall, plus about three or four trips to the Galleria of Arts and Antiques. But the antique mall is called I-76 Antique Mall. And the funny thing is my new son-in-law likes to go antiquing so he took me to um this antique mall and i actually have been there once before with my friend sue and we really didn't look at the cases we didn't have much time so we really only looked at the booths but this time i checked out everything including the cases where my son-in-law likes to look for world war ii um items but let's start i had to pick up a salt and pepper shaker because i just can't resist this is the kissing santa mrs claus i paid three dollars and fifty cents for this set i mean they have such sweet faces look at them they have their stoppers they're not super super old because they don't have the cork stoppers but I love the face. At first I was like, what in the world is Santa doing? But then when I looked him up, I'm like, oh yeah, he's kissing. Um, these would sell for about 12 to $20. Then at the antique mall, I picked up this little bear. I mean, he reminded me of the Fenton bears and he is just clear, but I just thought he was sweet. So I paid $10 for this and it would only sell for about five to ten dollars because he's a princess house lead crystal clear bear paperweight figurine so some of the items at the antique store i did well on and some i really didn't but i should at least make my money back on the items that i might not have did such a great job on like this right here this handcrafted turkish ceramic pottery tink trinket dish bowl in red so I paid six dollars for it they think it's like Poland but I've been to Turkey and I've picked up several of these bowls so I'm pretty sure it's from Turkey and I paid six dollars for it and it would only sell for about six to twelve dollars so possibility of doubling my money but probably just gonna make my money back all right and then I had to get something blue so I found this very pretty blue vase with the gold gilt and the hand-painted enamel. Very nice. I paid $12 for it, and it is a Venetian cobalt blue and gold gilt enameled flower, Murano vase, Venezia, Italy. So I paid $12 for it, and it would sell for about $20 to $40. So that was a good pick. And then hopefully this one is a good pick. This um, owl, he's a red Italian art glass owl paperweight. I paid, um, I believe $25 for him because at the antique mall, anything over $20 and one cent, you get 10% off. So he was originally $28 and I got him for 25 and he does have his sticker back there, Murano, Italy and he's quite heavy he's fun he's very fun so he would sell anywhere between 30 and 60 dollars so hopefully that was a good pick and then this one i really didn't notice the brand for some reason i didn't look at the bottom that carefully but i liked that it was purple on top and green on the bottom i paid 12 dollars for him and he would only sell between 15 and 25 because it is an FTD FTD all right then I picked up the art glass hand now it doesn't glow I didn't have my black light with me at the time so I hoped it glowed but it does not it does not glow so this vintage mid-century modern green glass hand mannequin jewelry holder how much did I pay for it I paid $20 for it. Now I thought I was gonna get the 10% discount, but it's $20 and one cent where you get the, I'm sorry, 10% 10, 10 discount. 
So this one did not get a discount. So I did pay $20 for it, but they sell anywhere between $45 and $105. So I guess that was a good pick. All right, and then the green glass hand is holding a blue glass silver tone collar necklace with clip-on earrings. Um, I got this set for ten dollars. You can see up close there, and then the earrings that match. They are um, clip-on, clip-on earrings. I paid ten dollars for this, and it should sell between thirty and sixty dollars. I'm gonna put statement and layered on the listing. And that was everything that I got at the I-76 Antique Mall. So. Hopefully in another month or so, when everybody's got new things in their booth, we can make another visit. And I'll drag along my um, son-in-law and he can see if there's any new World War II items. So that will be fun. All right, and the rest of the table is everything from the Galleria of Arts and Antiques. Now, I go to the Galleria of Arts and Antiques about once or twice a month. so. I do make a little loop through the store and see if there's anything that catches my eye. So this is about three or four trips worth. So let's start way in the back. This is a most recent find. I loved the yellow. It's bright and sunny and summery and I don't want summer to end. It is hand painted. You can see the brush strokes and it is art glass. You can see there on the bottom and let's see. How much did I pay for this? I paid $8 for it. And I wrote hand blown yellow art glass hand painted vase. It sells anywhere between $35 and $75. So that was fun. I'll be tempted to keep it, but maybe I can just display it until it sells. Then I found a Pyrex bowl. So this is the smallest bowl, yellow. Let me show you the bottom here there you go pyrex it's not um too dishwasher faded i think it looks pretty nice so this vintage Pri pyrex primary yellow mixing nesting bowl i got it for five dollars and it would sell anywhere between 12 and 25 dollars so hopefully i'm getting better at picking things hopefully all right, next up is this um, vintage Blue Mountain Pottery Redware Swan Crane Green Glaze Egret Heron. I paid $6 for it. Now, he's supposed to probably have a mate, but even singly, he sells between $10 and $20. Then I got this little trinket dish with the bunny on top. Very cute with the little roses. Let's see if he says anything on the bottom. Nope. He might have had a sticker at one time, but he's a vintage ceramic rabbit bunny trinket dish. I only paid $3 for him, and he would sell anywhere between $15 and $30. All right, next. Well, so let's talk about this bunny. This is a black art glass bunny rabbit um, sitting with ears up. I got, I paid $8 for it and it would sell, it's got a clear polished bottom. It would sell anywhere between $12 and $24. Now when you're out looking for bunnies, you want the one sitting on his hind legs because that might actually be the Baccarat France bunny and it sells for about um, $60, the one sitting up on his hind legs. All right, might as well talk about these birds over here. These little pudgy pigeon fat little chubby birds very cute um i paid five dollars for the set of two um so i'm gonna write two ceramic plump songbirds or plump chubby they would sell between 12 and 18 dollars there i just thought they were sweet where are they made taiwan made in taiwan all right and then this little cute trinket dish was cute also let's see if it says anything on the bottom Yes, it does Ardoralt, Japan. So this is made in Japan, um, hand painted. So this vintage Ardoralt trinket dish, porcelain apple with butterfly ladybug and beetle, made in Japan, I paid $2 for, 
and it would sell between five and twenty dollars all right couple of jewelry pieces now i know these are faux turquoise but i just liked the shape of them and they were a good price at only five dollars each so faux turquoise pendant silver tone statement necklace these would sell for about fifteen dollars each and they are not marked or anything on the back but i just liked them especially i think this one's probably out of the two my favorite you know i like blue so this is the more blue of the blue green so that was fun all right well you know i have a weakness for salt and pepper shakers i'm like a closet salt and pepper shaker collector i believe this day i picked up i think a total of nine sets of salt and pepper shakers and i paid five dollars each for them so i picked up the ones that I thought were really sweet. Like this um, bride and kissing groom. I think these ones are made in Japan. Yes, they're older, they have a cork. These ones would sell for about $20. Then I picked up the little Dutch boy and girl. I believe these are like 1956. Um, when I looked them up, you can see the marking there. Let's see if the other one has better marking. Um. Yep, 1956. Um, these ones would sell for about 10 to $20. So most of the salt and pepper shakers that I picked up, I can double my money on. All right, right in front of that are these donkeys. Um, they're made in Japan, so we've got a blue one and a brown one. And these would sell, they're from Napco. That's where, that's where they're from. I mean, they have their Japan sticker right there. And they're corked, so they're older. They would sell for about 10 to $20. Then these ones over here are Nippon. This little teacup looking ones. You can see the marking there, hand-painted Nippon. Those would sell for about 8 to $16. Then, let's see, go over here. I got these bunnies. I just thought they were cute. So they're like kind of anthropomorphic with their facial features um they would sell for about um 10 to 20 dollars they're um also made in japan and they have their corks so they're pretty old and then a couple of ones in shoes so i got the little dutch girl and the dutch boy in the shoes and they're actually left in yes they have their left in sticker on the bottom they would sell for about 10 to 20 dollars and then the Native American Indian boy and girl in the mo moccasin shoe, they would sell also for about $10 to $20. And what's this? Um, turn it upside down. Big Owl Winds, Windsor, S&B, Seagal. Hmm. Nice. And then I think the last salt and pepper shaker, nope, not the last ones. I almost forgot about these ducks over here. So these vintage mallard duck salt and peppers, these are made in Germany. You can see the German, Germany sign right there. They're old too with their corks. They would sell for about 10 to $12. And then the last ones were the alligator crocodile. Um, they're made in Japan, and they would sell for about $10 to $20. There's the Japan marking. So, to me, that was fun. That was fun finding all those um, salt and pepper shakers. I hope somebody else likes salt and pepper shakers and thinks they're cute and sweet like I do and comes along and buys them from me. That would be great. All right, moving on to more Galleria of Arts and Antiques things. Now, this right here is a Norman Rockwell, um, I think it's Gorham. It's called The Big Decision. So this baseball coach and catcher figurine. I only paid a dollar sixty for it because it was super on sale. And this just reminds me, like my son was a pitcher, not a catcher. My daughter was actually the catcher. But this reminds me of their grandpa. So I thought that was very sweet. There's the bottom there. And this would sell for about $15 to $30 if I don't end up giving it to one of my children. I'll probably end up selling it because they probably don't want it anyway. Oh, well. Okay, next up is this Fenton Smoky Gray Art Glass Ruffle Swirl Basket. I paid $12 for it. 
it is marked Fenton right there in that oval. Nice. The basket handle is attached well. Um, I paid $12 for that, and it would sell between $20 and $40. Then I found a Blue Mountain Pottery. Now, this says Olmstead Falls and has a train on it, a locomotive. And it is signed on the bottom, BBP for Beaumont Brothers Pottery, 1994. And I paid, I think, $5 for it. I couldn't really find it on my receipt. And it would sell between $20 and $35. All right, we're going to talk about a little bit of lusterware here. Do you see some right there? And then I also picked up this lusterware. So they're both Jeanette glass. And so this is the cream and sugar. I paid $11.25 for this set. And it sells between $10 and $20. So I should be able to make my money back for it. But might or might not double my money, but I thought that was very nice. That lusterware. I don't know if it sells that well, but it always gets me because I like I like the shiny things apparently. Alright, and so these are the berry bowls, the glass lusterware. So they're very pretty and shiny and got that um crackly like pattern on it. These would sell, well, I paid $12 for the set of five, and they would sell for about $10 to $20. All right, what should we talk about next? The Wade Whimsies. So I got about, what, 27, 28 Wade Whimsies, and I paid $2 each for them. So I guess they used to come in the Lipton Tea, and they're payments. You collected sets of them, so I've got a couple elephants, a couple of different cats, some lions and lioness, and then we've got some rhinos and a couple of birds, and then new in the package, I think a couple of dogs right there. Then I forgot to look up this one, so I don't know exactly what that is, that couple there. And then we've got some roosters, birds, horses, um, the rooster and hen, the geese, and then last, this um, whale, I guess it is. So, paid $2 each for these. Oh, and the sheep and the horse. Um, they sell for about 4 to $7 each. There's all the Wade Whimsies. All right, next up is this art pottery. I thought it was very unique, and actually on the receipt, they put unique art pottery. So it is signed. It is fun. You can kind you can see that there you go, the engraved or etched signature there in the bottom and it has a floral frog. So that will help you in displaying your flowers. So I paid $12 for that and it would sell for about 20 to $40. All right, next up I picked up a couple of pillows. This like hand knit hand embroidered so that one is um flowers with a rooster and it's it's like in a linen maybe and then the back is i think is cotton and then this one is i think cruel and it is wool so the bottom is like a wool sweater and i thought it was very nice with the embellished button right there i paid six and seven dollars each for these and they sell anywhere between 25 and a hundred dollars so that was very fun fun find all right speaking of needlepoint let's look at these hand embroidered hand embroidered bird linen hand towels i paid five dollars each for them and i think there's like there's only a couple that are duplicates so those three are different and then duplicate and then i think that's a duplicate and there's another duplicate so i paid five dollars each for these and they have the nice um lace on the bottom of them and they resell for about um ten dollars each so that's a possibility of making my money or doubling my money on those all right, moving over to the smalls. Let's do the frog first. I hid him in a box because I was gonna show you with my black light that he glows. Can you see the green? 
So this little glowy frog, I only paid two dollars for. Let me get him out of the box for you. I only paid two dollars for him, and he sells anywhere between twenty and fifty dollars. He's pretty. He's pretty detailed. It's just fun that he glows. Cool. All right, and a few more small things. So I found this hand-carved owl, this hand-carved stone owl. Also paid $2 for him, and he would sell for about $14. And then I found this teeny tiny little dollhouse gumball machine. Fun. Paid $2 for this as well, and it would sell for about $10 to $12. Another tiny item is this glass and enamel rose pin. I paid $5 for that and it would sell for about $10. All right, and then some jewelry. So I got a couple of crystal rhinestone um, clip-on earrings. These ones are actually marked Sarah Coventry. You can see that right there. They're marked Sarah Coventry. Um, crystal clear rhinestone silver tone clip-on earrings paid only two dollars and fifty cents for them and they would sell between 30 and 40 and then these also I put like cluster paid 250 for those crystal clear rhinestone cluster silver tone clip-on earrings and they would sell for about 10 to 20 dollars then let's move over here to a few more clip-on earrings these these are marked also these are marked Lisner you can see that yet right there Lisner those are marked Lisner yellow enamel flower gold tone Lisner clip-on earrings paid two dollars and fifty cents for these now you can see here some of the um, enamel flowers are not there but they're still pretty with their gold um, their gold tone they would sell between twenty and forty dollars then I picked up these, and I thought these would look really nice with the um, turquoise pendant necklaces over there. So they are faux turquoise silver tone clip-on earrings, and they are not marked with any particular brand or anything, but I'll move you slowly over here so you can see how nice they would look with the, with the turquoise over there. All right, let's move it back. These ones I paid $2.50 for, and it would sell between $10 and $20. All right, then I got a couple of pins. These are not marked either, but I just thought they were fun. So these green emerald rhinestone gold tone butterfly on a leaf. Um, let's see what I pay for this. I paid $5 for it, and it would sell between $10 and $15. Then I picked up this um, carved shell cameo. I thought it was very sweet, very sweet face right there. You see on the back the, the um, shell. So this is a pen. You could probably use it as a pendant if you really wanted to, but it's a pen or a brooch. It was originally $8 and it was 20% off, so I got it for $6.40 and it would sell between $20 and $40. All right, a couple more items. Thanks for, thanks for sticking around this long. Um, let's see, we've got a set of 12 beaded Easter ornaments. So I paid $7 for these, and I just really liked them, because seriously, handmade, this took forever for somebody to do. I thought they were very sweet. I paid $7 for the set of 12, and they would probably sell for about $12 to $14 each. All right, very last item are these 11, I got 11 of them, turquoise blue linen cotton hand embroidered dinner napkins. So I paid $6.50 for the set and they would sell for about $20 to $40 for the set. And all of them are in pretty good condition except for the very last one was stained, but all the rest of them are in really good condition really nice. They were blue and they were handmade, cross stitch. I'm a sucker for handmade things. All right, well, that was everything for today at the Antique Mall, the I-76 Antique Mall, and several trips to the Galleria of Arts and Antiques. 
thank you current subscribers and if you're new here please hit that subscribe button everybody hit that like button for me and leave me a comment tell me what was your favorite item and you know if it excites you as much as it excites me to find a new antique mall all right until next time as always i thank you for watching